Hey hey guys, I'm showing you guys how to um, do a Terraria server. Now I haven't seen this legitly, like the whole way of doing this, but this is um, how to make a Terraria server or port forwarding. I've only seen it once way and they didn't do the whole thing. And they didn't have any um, thing, um, like the audio. So what you do is you go to command prompt, just type in CMD right here. Type CND, click enter, this should pop up, and then type in IP config. Um, whoops, spelled it wrong. IP config. A right, bunch of stuff will come up. Make sure you remember the default gateway and the last digit of the IP v4 address. Um, you just write those down and remember those, and then you want to go to your web browser, on Mozilla, Safari, whatever you use. Um, using Mozilla, um, go to that default gateway. And go there and if you don't have a password like if it might ask you to put in your admin password and everything before you can even get here so if you have to do that then um, figure that out um, or you can't do this and it, it'll probably ask you for another password if you do this and then click on virtual servers this is for Belkin um, for Linksys it'll probably be somewhere over here like game servers or something gaming um, if it'll go hold on guys give me a second um, takes a little while, isn't, um, okay, so, just let it load just a little bit more, it's taking actually a little while, alright, so as you see, I already have one here, what you want to do is you're going to want to check off a box, and type in Terraria, whoops, Terraria, um, inbound port, it has to be 7777, you can change it to actually whatever you want, but this is the, um, port that will only work, type in the last digit, as I said here, and you make sure it's TCP and UDP and make sure everything the inbound and the private port are the exact same thing and remember, make sure it's checked enabled so click apply changes I'm just going to click clear so I don't have to worry about um, saving that alright then um, X out of that you do not need that more now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in go to your um, start bar thing type in windows firewall and make sure it's with advanced security. If you don't, um, if you're not an administrator, um, just click. If you're an administrator, click on it and probably click allow or something. If you're not, if you know the password, and then put that in, and then you're good to go. Um, here we go. Um, make sure you're in inbound rules. Um, as you see, I do have one, but I will be making another one. So TCP and UDP. Make a new rule. Wait for it and make sure it's a port. Click next. Now you're gonna have to put in a specific port 7777. If you remember, if whichever one you check off up here, TCP, make sure you remember that one and allow the connection, domain, private, and public. And remember Terraria T TCP. This is only just to recognize what it is as a rule. You can name it whatever you want, just it's much more simpler to do this that way. The rule will be recognized easier. Um, description, you don't have to put that to optional as it says, and click finish. Um, do the same thing for UDP, but instead name the um, name to area UDP. And then once you do this, it'll sometimes not have it um, allowed. So just come here and click enabled and allow connection because it'll sometimes not open it up just right away. And make sure you keep doing that for both of them. And I don't think you have to worry about this terraria right here for allowing it. Um, just click OK, and once you've done that, click X. Go to your computer or open up your Terraria um, file, or open up your Terraria. Um, give me a second. Steam, Steam apps, common Terraria. Um, um, for some reason my Terraria is not working, and I have to use the texture pack one. Um, and Twisted file is not working. Alright, I can already tell this is going to take a little while, so I have to do something for it to work. Because um, this is not the right one. It's already yes. I'm click on here. Alright, so it's going to be really slow. Let me try that one more time. Ah, sorry. Um, make sure it's all in that priority high. Okay. And click on multiplayer. Uh, oh, you also need to get your server startup. You use this server, whichever, the Terraria server that's either 
with it or not with it. So click on random, I guess. Um, click enter th all three of those things if you don't want a password. Your port stays the same as 7777. And then that other thing stays the same. I'm using T-Shock. And also, sorry about the lag, guys. Just click join. Click your character. Um, make sure, okay, server is started. I'll probably get some lag. Yes, I'm going to get some lag because I have some other stuff I have need. Oh, um, so not that bad of a lag. So here you go. This is my server. Um, it may look like it's just me in there, but it's actually um, a lot of people are in here. Um, I mean, not a lot of people are in here. It's the morning. It's 11 o'clock. People are in school. I'm not today. Um, so I hope you like my video, guys. Um, I will be making some Let's Plays, actually. It will not be coming out soon. They will be coming out when 1.1 comes out. That way, you guys can see all the new, exciting um, story 1.1, really. So just to make sure you want to go check it out and get it and everything. So this is... Um, Terraria Help 101 signing out guys. I will see you guys in the hopefully the next video or the Terraria 1.1 release which they said probably is coming out the 1st of December which that's really coming close guys. It's only close to half a month away. So see you guys.